Hi guys, Jeff again from TAP. Just want to again show our members some of the new features on our website and in our programs area. So again, we just logged into our website here. If we just click onto the programs, we're covering a lot of the different programs and sort of utilising how why they've been written and why we actually use them. So going through to probably one of the most commonly used one uh, out of all the uh, programs, which is our math sensor and volumetric efficiency calculator, so the VE calculator. If we just open that up, this is where we've, we've got a, a problem vehicle and we just want to know what the volumetric efficiency and especially the mass airflow sensor uh, operation is like. It's a quick little easy one we can fill out. So again, it'll ask us for some key information. This particular goes engine size. We're going again for the Commodore 3.8. Air intake temperature sensor, this is the air intake temperature sensor of the vehicle. So under bonnet temperature, we're going to put down as 45. These are the sort of stats you'll be able to get off the vehicle or, or from your uh, scan tool. Again, airflow, we're going to put it at 140. Uh, we've got obviously at a high speed here, we're not at idle. Barometric pressure, again in my workshop here, we're at sea level, so 101 uh, kPa is uh, our barometric pressure, engine speed, and we got 5,000 RPM on this particular vehicle. So I've filled out all those key bits of information, and what it's going to do now is calculate a couple of things which are going to be important for us to, uh, to know as far as our uh, volumetric vision from our diagnostic point of view. It's just making those calculations now. If we have a look at them once they come up here, a couple of things. We've got a volumetric efficiency here of 79.05. It's green, so it's in our satisfactory zone. If it's below 75, 70 to 75, it'll come up as yellow, probably something we need to be concerned about. In this particular case, we're, we're quite happy with it. If it's down too low, around that, that 70 mark, it obviously tells us that from a volumetric efficiency point of view, we've got an unhappy engine. So that could be for a couple of different reasons, but also here, the important one here also is a calculated math and actual math. So mass airflow we put in as 140 at 5,000 RPM. Uh, it also calculates what it should be. If it was a properly uh, volumetric efficiency engine of 82, it would, should be reading 145.22. Still pretty close to where we were with a difference of 0.366%. But again, we've got a fairly good volumetric efficiency. Now, if that was poor, there could be a couple of different reasons behind it. It could be a mechanical type problem with the vehicle. So it could be a timing issue on the vehicle, it could be just a worn out engine, it could have a blockage either on the air intake or on the exhaust side. Now the easiest way probably to make a quick little reference for that is go and look at your fuel trims. If your fuel trims are close to zero, that's telling you the amount of air going in and the fuel being added is pretty much right. So we do have some possible breathing problem or mechanical problem or timing problem. If your fuel trims are way off, probably more in the positive side, so you've got a positive 10, positive 50, positive 15 fuel trimming, it means it is running lean and it's trying to reach it up to try and get the air fuel ratio right. So again, look at fuel trims, a very, very important calculation or data you can look at. Don't forget, you can also go into our, our live data and our scan data to see what good data from that vehicle should look like as well. But this particular calculator is probably the most commonly used. It does have a very, very large instruction section as well. So uh, we've gone through a lot of detail there in regards to the instructions for using this calculator. I've just given you a quick little overview of it and some of the quick little benefits of it. But please spend some time, read those instructions, get used to using it. It is a very powerful calculator in the early stages of diagnostics on a car that's not running too well. If you are a member, start utilising these facilities and these uh, calculators. If you're not, maybe time to join up uh, with many of the other technicians that are, that are now members. Just go to our homepage, www.tap.net.au. Click up on the Join Up Now button, fill out the form. It'll then get, send you back a password for instant access into our website. See you next time.